I don't know. And make sure you suck in your stomach. What is going on my Gamry Army? We are here at the uh, Fire Wings car meet that I told you guys about that we were going to be host that Rebellious Crew and my home team Second Nature was going to be hosting. We're actually going to get a little interview with my president uh, Teddy and Miguel and we're going to actually show you guys what they drive, what they've done and what the car club is actually about and what our car club is about. So let's get right into it. They're right over here. So this right here is uh, Miguel. He is one of Hello. the presidents and the founder of Second Nature. I don't know if you want to give and this is also Teddy over here, guys. This is Teddy. These two guys are the reason the why founder. I joined Second Nature. He's the other founder as well. And then there's the vice president, Andrew. So yeah. I don't know if you guys want to give a little background to what Second Nature is and what you guys stand for and stuff. Sure. Uh, Second Nature is good people, good cars. We don't care about the numbers. We care about our members. Um, just trying to have people around us. No drama, just meet new people, have a good time, try to make our numbers grow eventually. It's my car, 2018 Volkswagen GTI, completely stock. Uh, got a couple things in the works, so excited about the build. Uh, I'm glad you're excited, and uh, you want to give a little, a little spiel on what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my car right here, uh, full bolt-on, Z40, half cut faster than him <laughs> <laughs> he just got his car um, yeah I mean that's pretty much it as far as the car so why did you why did you decide to start second nature with him well that's my boy <laughs> honestly we we're best friends um, I bought a car from him we both had nice cars at the time and uh, they were, this was actually his car so he bought this one out a different one um, you know, honestly, it was, it's pretty much exactly what he said. We just wanted a good group of people to, to be around us and uh, and uh, not get too big and worry about the numbers, just just the people. Sure. Then we got the vice president over here, guys, as well. This is Andrew. Well, uh, well, how do you feel about being vice president and, and how, what are your role, like, what are you doing in your role and stuff? Um, I mean, it's been an adventure, honestly. Like, I, I'm just very blessed and, like, very thankful that these guys gave me that opportunity. I kind of just... I, I don't know, I mean, I showed up with my MK4 and Teddy was the first one I met and he was like, oh, I really like your car. And, I, and he, yeah. just, he said, I had to drive the same car as you. And like, I was like, all right, for sure, you know, like, and we just- uh, They were the same color too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, same color and everything. And like, it, it just went off from there. It just, just blasted off into a friendship and then they, they wanted me a part of the group. Then I became the vice president because they, they saw that I was invested and I showed up to every event. I did everything, I, I, was, I was there. I was 110%, you know? Um, and then uh, I learned a lot about my my uh, info on trying to build my car because of them. So I'm grateful for that too. I, I started building my cars after they told me how I should do that and you know all the stuff that I needed to know. So 
that's pretty fun too. And then uh, after that, I started my own detailing business. Um, so it's A1, A1 Detail Service uh, on Instagram. And uh, you know, if you guys want to follow, you guys can. You can see all my work there. Um, I d recently did a truck for Gamma here. Uh, it came out really good, came out really clean. I was very satisfied with the results. And uh, uh, hopefully we get more opportunities. So help us out. Right now we're gonna walk over to his car right here. This is his actual car right here. It is a Mark 6 GTI. That's actually Andrew's car, guys. He actually just got it. I don't know if you want to give them a little background on your car. Um, so it started, well, when I first found the car, it, it actually showed up on, at a, one of the car meets that we went to. And uh, I really liked it and I told them, I'm like, hey, whenever you're ready to sell it, let me know, I'll buy it off of you and, and <laughs> that that happened, you know, just, I want to say just uh, about four to five months after he hit me up and I got, got the opportunity to get this car. Um, he already had thrown on a, uh, 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 a bigger turbo and also um, the downpipe. Uh, uh, and then I had and the, and the, and the yeah the the cold air intake. Um, I still need to put an intercooler and stuff. But yeah, I mean, so far it's been a really fun uh, fun start, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I threw on the splitter and the back like, yeah, rear extension. Yeah. All right, guys. Now time for my what I want to say. So the reason why I decided to be in second nature slash come back to second nature is because I actually same same story with him I met Teddy when I used to have my Mustang my blue Mustang I met him at a meet where we got to meet Hector I don't know if you guys know uh, Noel G uh, he's actually Hector in the Fast and the Furious movie so it's the bald guy that drives the Hondas in Fast and the Furious I don't know if you guys know him but the reason my story to why I joined second nature is because everything they've said before is actually true um, Ah, sorry guys, this is getting a little emotional, so Miguel and Teddy have been the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. There was a time... Uh, fuck, dude. Sorry, sorry. It's all good, dude. Hey, things happen for a reason, man. Things happen for a reason. Man. There was a time where I was homeless and they took me in and I could never repay them or thank them for doing that. And ever since then, I've actually seen them as family. They took me in as one of their own. And I really love Teddy and McGill for doing that and I could never repay them or ask for a better family than them. They've, they've, helped, they've helped me grow so much. These guys are a big part of my life. They taught me a lot about cars as well, especially Teddy. He helped me with one of my old cars that I used to have. And then Miguel, Miguel I see him more as a father figure. I always have, he always watches after me as well as Teddy. They always put, point me in the right direction instead of the wrong direction. He actually helped me with two of my cars, my Mustang and my Civic. And also another guy that we will bring out here as well is uh, Lewis. You guys have seen him in some of the other videos. He, he was another guy that I was with. I was with Rebellious for a little, but then I joined Second Nature. Yeah, <laughs> that's his 350 over there, guys. But if there's any of you guys out there that are looking for a car club like this, that is just pure family, we're family oriented. And we also do a lot of meets like this where it's we like to help small businesses out, which we will be having a meet soon for this guy right here to help his auto detailing. So if any of you guys ever need any auto detailing, I mean, look at what he did to me. My Ranger never used to look like this until he detailed it. He literally made it look brand new. Obviously, there's a little dent in it, but that's because, you know, there's just a, I got it like that, but either way, I'm going to be fixing it soon. But once again, I really want to thank Teddy and Miguel for accepting me into the car club, accepting the person who I am. And I really love them as presidents, and I love them as family as well, because, I mean, here at Second Nature, we're all family here. That's what we love about the, the club that we have. We're not just a club, we're a huge family, and we always look after each other no matter what happens. But uh, guys, all right, this is going to be the end of the video t today. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. 
for what you guys loved about the meet, what some of the cars you guys saw, what kind of cars you guys have, what kind of cars you guys have. And if you guys are interested in knowing more about cars, hit up me, follow Second H on Instagram, follow A1 Detailing on Instagram as well. I'll be posting it in the description down below. But other than that, guys, we're gonna head on out of here. We're gonna cruise on home and see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, guys. So this is you guys already know him. I've seen him on the channel before. This is Louis Lamelli, yep. the president of Rebellious Cruise, the first car club that I actually joined. Personal tenth day, one of the best. You know, let the left the hood pins off, let this bitch swing up and taco and bust my crap. You know how I do the best. Show up making. A, you know, don't even know where I was going with that. But the reason I wanted to bring Louis over here is because I wanted him to hear this as well. That, well, you guys already heard me say it before. He's actually another person that I really need to thank for, I guess, introducing me to the car world a lot more. He's also another person that helped me build my cars, and he's done a lot for me. He's, I see him as a bigger brother than, Don't make me cry, right? and like, I guess my actual brother. No offense to you, Jonathan. No offense to you. But uh, Lewis I love you just too, watches, <laughs> Lewis watches out for me a lot. He's always been there for me, and I try to be there as much there for him, too, because... His, his track record's a little, <laughs> a little <laughs> off, off the books, but yeah, you can see my track record today. Yeah, he, he just has a lot of. I have a way top of myself. Yeah, that much. But he's another person that I really need to thank from like the bottom of my heart for the, the stuff that he's done for me. Him, Miguel, and Teddy, those three guys, these are the type of people that you need to surround yourself with. They're very good-hearted people. I've never found people like them, like ever, and that's why I decided to come back to the car scene, like I did say before. And because like I miss uh, these guys, I miss hanging out with these guys, and I, I, one and all, I miss my family. I'm feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> but yeah, this is Louis Lamelli. If you guys didn't know, you guys Thanks. can follow him at Master Lamelli's on Instagram. Or Zaddy. Or Zaddy VQ. <laughs> or what is it, Zaddy Z? Zaddy VQDE. Yeah, Zaddy VQDE. You guys can follow him on there too. But this is the guy. Yeah, Zaddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is him. This is me. And my so, my. Mess always just life. surround yourself this guy has always told me keep your head up he was actually the first person I went to when I became homeless mm -hmm. and cuz I know now I got a home <laughs> <laughs> yeah now I got a home <laughs> and uh, I, I felt like Lewis would know what to do in that situation and from there he, he he's the one that went above and beyond and told Miguel and Lewis the whole situation well I, I was kind of embarrassed to say that like I was living in my own car and well, Lewis, I like, kind of told them, and then Miguel and Teddy obviously offered their place, and I stayed with them. And from there, I felt like I was at home. Friends. Friends. How many of us have <laughs> friends? And then the we. The ones we can't stand <laughs> on. Friends. This guy, he's gonna get me copyrighted. <laughs> but um, I had a lot of fun spending my time there at Teddy's. Uh, a lot of sleepovers there. Especially with this guy cuddling with him at night. <laughs> Thought I was a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, we also had poker night a lot. But I saw all I wanted to show you guys that this is the other guy that I was talking about. His name is Lewis. This is the fucking loser he's talking about. But I hope you guys <laughs> find people and surround yourself with people like this. Positive people that just bring you very good vibes. I wish you the best of luck. And that's all I got to say about this man. I ruined the top of my car today. And what do I say? Cut a sunroof, call it a day. Other people <laughs> cry and bitch about it. Me, chop the top, say less. <laughs> All right, guys, that is my little interview with Lewis.